Hey there, and welcome to the top 50 FIFA myths of the year in 2020. Today is going to be a very special and iconic and mythic day. And this is a lot of FIFA myths in one video. Enjoy. Haaland Silver Salzburg card is no longer in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you go into FIFA and search for Silver Haaland, you'll find that he plays obviously for Dortmund and he also just got himself a new winter gold upgrade card at Dortmund. This guy's been on fire this season and was strange to see Man United not go for him. I thought that he would have suited Haaland. Anyway, Back to the Ultimate Team myth, and guys, it's actually true. So if you go on the transfer market and simply just search for Silver and Norwegian Striker and obviously Haaland, you will not find any Salzburg Silver cards. It feels like they've actually just automatically switched his club to Dortmund and got rid of his old Salzburg card. That's never the case normally. I've been searching, guys, for three days, haven't found one Salzburg card on PS4 and I'm going to show you a clip later on as well after this to show you like the difference a few days makes and still he's not on the market at Salzburg. Do you guys know what's going on with his old Salzburg card? Also I did search for Salzburg and Norway silver and it was coming up with his Dortmund card so there's something going on with Haaland's card at Salzburg. I don't really get why it's doing it. But um, as you can see, if you search for Salzburg, and this is like three days ago actually, when I recorded this, and Dortmund comes up. So they might have just automatically switched it, but normally the old card would still be there, right? Someone has his Salzburg card. This might be like a new, you know, rare player card. His special cards still come up though at Salzburg, but if you type in silver, again, nothing to be seen. I've not seen a Salzburg card, guys, for about four or five days now. I don't know what's going on with Haaland. And yeah, even if you put it at the max by now, there is not one on the market. So this is true. Can't get 60 rare players in a FIFA pack. Well, this is the biggest FIFA myth in maybe a year or longer. The amount of tweets I had and video comments, guys, about this was absolutely through the roof. Thank you guys so much for this. As you can see, EA either secretly revealed that there is a possibility that there could be a Jumbo Ultimate pack soon, or they completely glitched the game, or maybe both. I think it could be both. I mean, it's very weird to have this in the game, but 60 rare pack did keep showing up. They did tweet out saying, Hey all, we are aware of the concerns regarding the squad battle rewards and are actively investigating. And then they updated by saying users who received an incorrect pack as part of their squad battle rewards should now be able to open the pack. But do you guys think this was a mistake in terms like a glitch? Is this a genuine pack in the future? Maybe this could be something down the line. 60 rares. I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed, what, probably 90 rares to walk out at least with that. 60 rares in one pack is pretty crazy. A jumbo ultimate pack, as people are calling it, is maybe possible further down the line in ultimate team. You can't get three free packs in one gold pack. Well, this is a new fee for me. As you can see, three gold packs in one. However, is that a world record? Has that been beaten? If you guys have got more, then do let me know in the comments. And yeah, a new FIFA myth. EA downgraded a new upgrade card. I don't recall seeing anything like this in FIFA history and I don't think we might see it again anytime soon. So if you type in Dennis Zakaria, thank you guys for sending me this on the Discord as well. Take a look at his base card, right? 82 pace, 63 shots, 75 passing, 75 dribbling, 79 defending, 82 physical. Remember the passing stat, right? 75 passing. That is his base card. His upgrade card has got worse passing. What has gone on there? So in terms of the individual stats, which one's got downgraded? So there you go. Hold on. There you go. So it's literally, yeah, his vision and short passing and long passing are all better on his original card, which is actually three ratings worse off overall. That actually makes no sense. No team has ever had three goalkeepers receive special cards in the same FIFA. This is a very rare and new FIFA myth. Barcelona are one of the only teams in Ultimate Team history with three special 
rated goalkeepers in the same FIFA. That FIFA was FIFA 19 with De Stegen, team of the season 93, 91 footies Neto and 84 man of the match Sillison. But Draft stops counting your wins after 255 wins in FIFA. I really love Foot Draft and FIFA 20. In fact, it might just be my favorite game mode. You guys should try more. And I'm very proud of my record. And that's with 20 losses when I've backed out to get better draft. So it's actually 1 for 1, 21. So I'm very happy. Anyway, if you have this kind of record like this guy on Twitter, 1,700 wins. And it does stop counting for some weird reason at 255. I don't get it, EA, but give this guy the wins that he deserves. Pele was once bought for 21 million coins in FIFA. This is one of the rarest myths and it is true. Back in the day in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, Pele was on the web app there with a current bid of 21.3 million coins. A lot of you guys may not have seen this, but it is true and I can't believe it's true. This is very, very weird from EA Sports. EA have never released one billion packs at once. Welcome to one of the rarest and most unknown myths in all of FIFA on this series. So my good man Nepenthes there did have one billion packs shown there on the store by EA themselves. This does show that they can just pluck a number out and just chuck out whatever pack amount they want to with lightning rounds. And yeah, FIFA 14 was that FIFA. One billion packs remain in that lightning round back in the day. Nep, I hope you got someone from those 1 billion packs. Team of the Year Mbappe and Ronaldo have been packed in back-to-back -back packs. Yep, this is outrageous. Team of the Year Mbappe in one ultimate pack and he opened the next pack. I got UCL Cristiano Ronaldo. Do you guys realize how many coins that is? That's like 6.5 million coins, maybe 7 million in back-to-back -back packs. Transfer market is being controlled by EA. This has taken the FIFA community by storm in the last day. So Team of the De Jong was extinct, Kante was extinct, and De Bruyne were extinct. And within the same minute, hundreds were listed at the exact same time. Now, to put this into perspective as to why this is strange, guys, and I'm gonna show you what I found on the market from last night's uh, big stream. So, it's really, really off for me that I'm finding it hard to imagine more than 100 people at the exact same time will realize that maybe their price range has been updated. I don't see that happening within the same minute to be listed at the exact same time. I get that point, but I just don't think it adds up. And if this is being done, obviously, by EA, they've done it before. I think it was Kagawa last FIFA when, like, thousands were put on the market at the same time if this is happening by a i don't like it i feel like it kind of forces people to go and open packs it doesn't for me sit well i think you guys might agree if these cards are getting put onto the market in my opinion it gives off the impression that they're easy to pack guys we've gone through 370,000 fever points so far with team of the year pack openings video streams you haven't packed one they're not easy to pack so I want you to let me know if you think this is true or is it a myth. This is really strange though. No player has ever changed nation three times in one FIFA. Well, this might be one of the rarest myths you guys will see. However, Murich here of Man City, who believes on loan at either Nottingham Forest or a different team now, did play for Switzerland, Montenegro and also Kosovo in the same FIFA, that is FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. A goalkeeper in FIFA does not have an outfield position. Welcome to Marlon Bonino, the Brazilian player who can actually play as a right back and very shockingly there guys, a goalkeeper. So this is a new FIFA myth here, very rare to see. Also, I did check online and this guy apparently is actually a fake player in FIFA. Well, a created kind of customized player added to career mode. However, he was spotted back in the days of FIFA 16 and went on foothead.com here guys and as you can see FIFA 16 autumn team there with the Brazilian left back Barninho 63 potential so he literally had no room to improve and then also in FIFA 17 there with some interesting info like his value 325,000 euros wage 4,008 euros per week as well and he was 29 back then so this is the same player and the legend, Marlon Baonino. Players in FIFA can have no contracts and still play in Ultimate Team. 
Yeah, this might be another new glitch that EA Sports can add to their crazy collection of glitches found in FIFA. This guy came up an opponent there with a 3-5-2 formation, whereas left centre-back had no contracts remaining. Also, injuries have been spotted on player cards, and yet they can still play, so there might just be an unlimited contract glitch in Ultimate Team after all. Aspilicueta is the first player in FIFA history to have been a centre-back, left-back and right-back. Aspilicueta does have an 84 right-back card in FIFA 20, as you guys can see there, and also an 86 in form he has had in the past as well, and then an 88 rated flashback card, which I do need myself. I do love having those flashback cards in my club in Ultimate Team. However, he's not the only person ever. It is a new FIFA myth. Elvedi there from Switzerland had himself an A, sorry, 76 rated right back card. He's also had a centre back card in FIFA Ultimate Team's history there with an A C rated card. And of course, he's had a left back card there back in, I think, was that FIFA 18, I want to say? It might be. Anyway, Switzerland there left back for Elvedi. Icon moments are now in mid icon packs. Whether you love, hate, or just don't know how to feel about icon swaps, a lot of you guys have completed the base icon SBC pack and also the mid icon SBC. Now, if you guys do have the guaranteed mid icon pack left over and you haven't opened it yet, you've kind of left it for a while, well, you might be surprised to hear that people are getting icon moments. Now, there's only been one found from an actual icon um, pack itself and the mid icon pack and that's Juan Raquelme right there so as a new icon moment people are saying that maybe because that's only a second card he's technically and weirdly counting as a mid icon because obviously most icons cards their second card is their mid icon so let me know if you guys have managed to pack another icon moment in these mid icon packs but this was confirmed by a subscriber on Twitter so uh, yeah very very odd um mid icon pack. No football team in FIFA has seven goalkeepers. If you go into the goalkeeper tab in FIFA 21 and have a look at how many goalkeepers a team has. So for example, if you go to the Premier League, I'd say most teams have roughly around four goalkeepers. Arsenal have four there with Leno, Mart well actually Martinez isn't there anymore. They've got three now. So, I mean, Brighton, for example, have two. Aston Villa actually do think have five. Then I believe Chelsea have a few goalkeepers um, there. I think they've got four. Burnley have only three. So roughly, you know, most teams have around four um, or five max, right? I mean, Chelsea have actually got Kepa, Mendy, and Caballero. So a few different cards there. So three at Chelsea. How many have we got right now? I mean, obviously, we have Alisson and Adrian, um, which is obviously going to be in the comments. Um, I mean, Karius on loan. So we've actually only got two, really, right now in FIFA. However... If you go into the championship and have a look at this former Premier League team, they used to have a player called Jonathan Greening. Janino back in the day was a baller for Middlesbrough. Remember Alfonso Alves as well? Anyway, Middlesbrough, I believe, have the most goalkeepers in FIFA 21 with seven. Hemming, they have Bryn, they have James, Mejias there from Spain, Piers, the English goalkeeper, Stojanovic as well, and then Bettinelli. So seven goalkeepers, which I believe is the record in FIFA history. No 75 rated player has a 99 rated statistic. 75 rated players have these big stats in FIFA, usually a or stamina there for Ailing as well. He's actually got a pretty nice card, just the pace of him isn't too great. Williams there, his best stat there's, I believe, 83 sprint speed. Um, 80 strength there for Tompkins, you know. These kind of players do not normally have even 90 rated stats at all. So what is even more surprising is that if you go to, I believe, the nation of Germany, search for a defender who has an inform card, right? And you guys will find yourself this guy called Wilsch. Now, this might be pretty shocking, but crazy stat here. This guy has got 99 rated stat on his card. 99 stamina. This guy is an absolute machine in FIFA 21. 
are lasting the whole game. Barcelona, Luis Suarez and Arturo Vidal are in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Yes, they are there, guys, and that is FIFA 21 that, as you can see, with 80 rated Hazard. Someone has got Luis Suarez and striker from Barca and Arturo Vidal. If this is you guys, I will happily pay the max price for these cards. The cameraman still has the photo of Man United versus Liverpool on his camera. This is always a brilliant myth at the beginning of every new FIFA and this year is no different. And to be honest, I'm very excited for the FIFA myth series this FIFA in 21, as hopefully there's going to be more Easter eggs within the game and Ultimate Team. So, as you guys can see, obviously a very realistic scoreline there against Manchester United had to be done. If you go into replays, though, is the cameraman still there with his beloved Manchester United versus Liverpool photo where Dimitar, Dimitar Berbatov scored a header, I think, against Liverpool. Either that or it was just like a you know regular header. Either way, got to say it, Berbatov is a player I loved to watch, unfortunately, for my United. But still, anyway, wish we had him on our team, Liverpool, back in the day. Here we go. Cameraman is there next to Mo Salah. You guys can find this for yourself in game as well. And very cool Easter egg. Yet again in FIFA 21, we have the cameraman there with the Liverpool versus United photo. It's actually at Old Trafford as well. It's Berbatov, Skirtle, and Jamie Carragher. Skirtle, the legend himself, is there. And as you guys can see, that is the cameraman there with that photo. So really awesome to see that in FIFA 21. There is the actual picture, guys, in real life as well. And yeah, very cool myth this one no team has three gold forwards with the same first name this has been one of the most requested thief myths to add to the new series in fifa 21 and it's a very bizarre one and i've seen so many of you guys asking me like matt please check out this myth it's nuts so if you go to leal in league Gun, search for gold forwards now one of the players is actually right mid but essentially if you convert him to right winger he is a forward so you have jonathan david there you have not got Jonathan Yilmaz, that is not his name, Yilmaz is his surname, and Jonathan is not his first name. Anyway, you've got Jonathan Bamba there, who's a left mid, and this might be the best front three starter players with the same name in Thief history as well, in Ultimate Team history, because these three cheap, you know, league and players here from Leo are incredible. So, Jonathan Okone as well. <laughs> is also got the first name there of Jonathan. This is a myth. Can't pack Pele in a welcome backpack in FIFA 21. You know when you guys open your welcome backpack, you might have got someone like Maya there or maybe Adam Smith. Well, how about you open a pack and you get Pele in a FIFA 21 official welcome backpack. This is absolutely nuts by the YouTuber there, Salvaxed. Make sure you give him a description, guys. YouTube down in the links down, uh, links down below, sorry. And uh, yeah, Salvix did manage to get himself 95 Pele. Not even 91, like I did, bro. You got yourself 95 Pele. You can't get more free lone icons in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. If you go into Ultimate Team right now and search for icons on the transfer market, you're obviously going to find some of the best icons in the world in FIFA. Now, bit of a quick tip here, guys. If you have one striker that you really want to aim for in this game, whether it be from icon swaps or... Even like a striker to aim for with your road to glory yourself, then Fernando Torres as striker, not even, be, not even being biased, guys, if you've not seen me stream with his card this week, you need to come watch the streams because his goals are nuts. One of the best strikers I've used at the start of any FIFA. Fernando Torres, guys, is nuts. Anyway, there is actually a way to get more lone icons in FIFA. 21 ultimate team as you guys can see right there a little thank you there from ea sports regarding these loan icons congratulations redeem your three match loan base icon pack in the my pack section of the foot store as a thank you for opting in to receive ea sports fifa news via email redeem now so very very simple thing here guys literally all you have to do is sign up to the ea newsletter and you can get these icons in your club. If you already chose Zidane in your pre-order loan pack, I think if you pre-ordered FIFA 21, I think you get like a loan item or loan pack, right, of icons. Now, if you already chose Zidane or Ronaldo or Cantona, if you get them again from signing up to the newsletter with your obviously email, then you can add more games to that loan card. So let's say if I pick Zidane, I did pick, I actually did pick Zidane on my road to glory. I can then now and go and get another three games with him which might to be fair really help out with 
the road to glory zero to zero get more games with zidane but as you guys can see right there sign up for ea sports fifa news get ronaldo zan zidane sorry or cantona as a foot low and icon player in fifa 21 sign up today to receive the latest esports ea sports fifa news um and all that good stuff there so if you guys do manage to do that you will be getting yourself a loan icon very straightforward i'll leave a link down below how to do that as well in the description of today today's fifa myths and uh, yeah this is a very interesting one on how to get more loan icons in fifa 21 ultimate team you can't get the same player three times in one 86 upgrade pack these 86 plus upgrade packs guys if you didn't know might be one of the most frustrating and also just, I guess, brutal FIFA packs. If you didn't see my stream the other day on DLive, then you might be surprised at the pack I got. So, as you can see, we grinded for champions on the road to glory, which is like my main FIFA account at the moment, and I'm loving it. So I thought, you know what? I would submit 11 of my foot champions cards that I just won't really use. Had some decent players in there as well. And there you have it. The foot champions premium upgrade pack is ready to redeem and hopefully i can maybe pack messi salah mane ronaldo neymar griezmann i mean the list goes on and as you can see we opened it and i got plea gundawan and deli ali as my choice so that is showing you guys what you can get from these if you've ever done one of these please let me know in the comments your best ever upgrade pack from foot champions let me know because i need some motivation to keep doing these this is my second one and they've both been 86 when alden was either one when i already had them anyway it's actually a myth you can get the same player three times in one upgrade foot champions pack illicit there as this guy demonstrated there with his 88 version 87 and 86 that's not even photoshop it is real and probably the rarest pack in ultimate team history. You can't build a hundred chemistry team using only ones to watch players. I love doing a squad challenge and we're gonna do one right now to make it a very special day. So in goal, we're gonna go with a ones to watch legend by the name of Haller, who probably hasn't done enough for West Ham, has he? And he's definitely too highly raised in this game, but he's ones to watch, so he makes his way into the team. We then go to Harry Maguire, who I can't spell his name, and he's there, 16.5k. Again, not in my opinion lived up to the transfer fee, but I still think he's a decent centre-back for United. We then go to a guy who I do think will be worth the money that they paid for him. That's going to be, uh, yeah, Aaron Wan-Bissaka there from, I believe, yeah, again, Man United. We then go to the centre-back position, and it's going to be a guy who I think is fabulous in this game at the rating of 84. He really is a beast in the game, man. If you guys have tried his card, then you know what I mean. It's Hernandez. Left back, we go to a player that might controversially return to Liverpool. Not sure how I feel about that. He didn't leave in the best way. We won a lot without him. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you want him back? Anyway, he will be in this team as a left mid for chemistry reasons. We then go to a guy who will be a Probably one of the best midfielders for a long time. It's De Jong from Barcelona. He makes his way into the team. We now need to get De Jong some nice chemistry, some good teammate banter. It's going to be uh, Antoine Griezmann. And yeah, the um, yeah the Frenchman himself gets in the team. Staying in France, but not in Spain, we're going to go to England and choose Ndombele, who might be friends with Griezmann. I don't know you know, their personal relationship, but they might be. Moving on, we're going to go to a guy who apparently is a fan of the channel. He is a legend. He's hilarious on social media. It's a Maximin. I absolutely love this guy, and he is going to be the right winger. Left winger for the team. As you guys can see, the chemistry is getting better, isn't it? Well, it's about to get even better. Aiden Hazard there of Real Madrid, and the final player will be Jovic of Real Madrid as well. Will he be a star at Real Madrid? We'll see. Well, however, as you guys can see, the uh, chemistry with loyalty is 100. It can be done. It's a myth, guys. What a squad 
That is. FIFA 20 wants you to buy FIFA 17. Yeah, this is true, and I don't really get what's going on here. It's a bit of a weird glitch. FIFA 20 apparently told this guy that there is an offer to buy FIFA 17 within FIFA 20. This is happening. Let me know if you guys have got this glitch on Xbox One. I don't get this one. Can't get a foot draft with over 10 icons. I really said that quite well, didn't I? Icons. This might be the biggest FIFA myth of all time because I've never seen more comments, more tweets, more Discord messages from you guys on the server that, my God, there is something going on with Foot Draft. So if you haven't seen this week, guys, EA have made it possible to get pretty much a full team of icons. This guy is 15. 86, Inform Ducor can be a 92 rated centre back. FIFA can be a strange game and often a lot of you guys might miss out on these kind of things unless you are like myself and a really big FIFA nerd. I, I love all this data and in-game stats because it's really helpful. It'll help you hopefully improve your game at FIFA. So as you can see, if you do not give any chemistry style to Decor, he becomes an 82 rated cam. So you don't want to be doing that. You've got to give this man at least a basic chemistry style to improve his ratings. And as you can see, by giving him the basic style, he becomes an 89 rated CDM, 88 centre mid. How about the engine? He becomes 89 TDM, 84 centre back, 87 cam. Give this man a hunter style, 84 cam. Hawk gets him 84. If you give him Deadeye, becomes 88 cam. Sniper, 88 cam. So there's loads that are interesting to see there. So as you can see as well, Maestro, 90 centre mid. However, if you give this man the chemistry style that is actually going to be Sentinel, he does become a 92 rated centre back. You can get a 50k pack for £2.99. Never in the history of this series has there been a myth and truth at the same time potential myth, right? This has never happened before. However, today is a very special day because it might just happen. So about a thousand FIFA points, guys, is I believe just over seven pounds with the EA Play and then without EA Play, I believe it's about seven pound fifty. But as you guys can see, last week it was true. CDE Key is apparently doing a 50k pack for tradable, 50k pack and a loan pack for £2.99. We decided to do it, however, after they actually upped the price to about £6. Now, they've actually upped it even more, which is definitely not worth it, in my opinion, as it's now, I think, £9. So, definitely avoid that. But in terms of the original pack, it was apparently £2.99. So, a bit of a mad one, this one. We did actually open the Rare Player Pack here, guys, on stream, on Twitch a few days ago for the FIFA Myth series. To see what you got, we did get the player Baggio there and a few other icons. I believe we got Eric Cantona's loan as well. Didn't get a walkout, and I believe I didn't even get a board. So, yeah, it wasn't worth it, man. We got Kepa as the Spanish goalkeeper there um, from Chelsea with his downgrade. You can't pack a free icon plus Messi in the same objective FIFA 21 pack. Massive tip here, guys, for you in FIFA 21. If you haven't done this already, you need to. So, if you go on to the objectives part of FIFA 21, the tab there, Scroll over to the Milestones tab, which is still obviously under Objectives. Have a look at the Assist Mastery. Now, big tip of the day here for you guys. Defo be going into squad battles and getting all of these objectives done. And even on beginner, it should count. Obviously, squad battles there, you do need 85 plus. Also, I believe loan items, I don't think they count squad battles. I think I'm right in saying that. Either way, if you guys can try and grind your way to an 85 plus rated squad, Go and squad battles, get the finishing master objective done, get yourself a 300k pack from grinding the game, and also get this done, because people are getting packs like this from Twitter here, man. Gary Lineker and Lionel Messi. Absolutely crazy here. Unreal. Like, that kind of pack in a 500 assist pack, guys, is absolutely nuts. No icon counts as a silver player in FIFA 21. When you think of icons, guys, you think of players like Maldini, Zidane. Also, got to be noted, this guy's team is absolutely unbelievable. What the hell? Anyway, <laughs> I'm blown away by the team. As you can see, the gold consumables here are coming up every single time for Maldini and other players like Ruud Hullet, even Pele. Gold contracts keep coming up, and there's loads of gold contracts to be applied. However, when you go on to a player like Ashley Cole, every single time he's actually acting there as a silver player, which is very odd. 
If you didn't know, you can actually pack icons in silver packs. It's one hell of a grind. They are very rare to get in FIFA 21. This guy's team is in FIFA 21. What the hell? Just realized Ashley Cole is a brand new icon. I cannot believe this guy's team. EA will compensate FIFA players with a free Serie A team of the season pack. If you guys have opened the Serie A team of the season pack, you might well be getting a free team of the season pack again, because this pack is glitched. Yet I didn't get the wrong player. However, a lot of people are reporting that they got the likes of Lucas Leiva, Ben Tegor, and even Gulaxi from the Bundesliga in one of these packs in the Bundesliga pack. So it's very odd as, yes, they are in the Serie A, like league, but they're in the wrong promo. For example, this guy packed Ben Tegor from Juve. He is not in the official Serie A team of the season. He's actually in the community. There is Gulaxi as proof there from this guy on Twitter there. And yeah, we might all be getting a bonus pack if you open the pack in time. No gold outfield player has a one-star week foot in FIFA. If you think of players in Ultimate Team who are the most overpowered and arguably the best players in the game, you think of players with five-star weak foot. For example there, you've got Ben Yedder, right? He is always a fan favorite in Ultimate Team. Moving on, you have the likes of Neymar. Obviously, again, five-star weak foot. In my opinion, this card might be the best card in the entirety of this game. And again, five-star weak foot. So with that being said, are there any other players who have got a gold card and are also outfield players. Obviously, if you think of goalkeepers, they're more likely to have a one-star weak foot. Here's a question, guys. Did Shea Given ever have a one-star weak foot? That guy literally was a great goalkeeper. But my God, his kicking skills were not always up to par, were they? <laughs> one-star skill move, one-star weak foot there for Bauman. However, this, guys, is surprisingly... A new FIFA myth. The first time we cover this really, really interesting one. This guy, Tom Kearney there, has one of the worst weak foot in the entirety of Ultimate Team. Six foot one, four star skill moves, one star weak foot. He is not the only one though. So you've got the, I want to say, is he on loan from Chelsea still? Or has he gone to Lyon? Not sure. Anyway, this guy as well, one star weak foot. I'm not going to lie, I think I'd have two-star weak foot. My left foot is just atrocious, but let me know what your weak foot would be, guys, in the comments down below. Also, that is not the only one. So you've got two players there. You also have a left back who does possess the one-star weak foot trait. And as you can see, this guy also is the left back. Gold outfield player has one-star weak foot. It is a new FIFA myth. Bakayoko is only at Monaco and FIFA 20. If you guys search for Bakayoko on Ultimate Team, you guys can see here that the only card that will pop up is his Monaco card. So as you can see there, only plays Monaco in FIFA 20. If you guys go to concepts, you can also find his Chelsea card, right? However, this card is not on the transfer market at all. It shouldn't even be in concepts. He's never actually been at Chelsea in this game. And to prove that, guys, he is not on the transfer market. If you search for CDM French and Bakayoko there, he is not on the market. However, this might surprise you. It's a FIFA myth. Bakayoko has been found on the Xbox transfer market. Shout out to the guy on Twitter, guys. His link is down below. And should we buy this card off him on Xbox and make a video about this card? This might be... An amazing card in game. He's 80 rated. He, he might not be incredible. FIFA 21 career mode will be available on phones. This would be sensational for career mode and would honestly revolutionize the career mode aspect of FIFA. And it, honestly, career mode, if career mode was done properly, it would probably be the joint best mode with pro clubs. I'm calling it, guys. I think it would be incredible. Incredible work, though, overall, and just fantastic designs here by Keo. Make sure you guys give him a follow. He has been absolutely just insane with these designs. Imagine, though, you're in work, you know, you want to be back from school, whatever, you know, you're chilling with mates, you want to freaking play some career mode, you can try and do some transfers. Maybe this could maybe also transition career mode to be online there's so many possibilities how incredible would that be though i think career mode has to move to mobile after seeing this i think this would be revolutionary for the game mode itself there is a secret fifa play with the name hd on the market you guys are honestly like phenomenal some of the random myths we get in this series now are mad especially in the comment section on twitter on the streams this one particular guy is actually on the twitch stream on friday i do believe so shout out to jonathan who posted this on the twitch stream in the comments he said yeah matt there's a random player 
by the name of HD. And he's not even in the game. And it's true. If you type in part of my YouTube name, which is obviously HD, high definition, still high definition, you can see that this guy, Rafa Di Vicente, is in FIFA. However, I don't believe he's in the game. It's really bizarre. Usually you'd see like, you know, like a maybe blurred out image there of a player. But this guy apparently is actually a professional footballer. Who is this guy? Con pack 86 Halland in a bronze upgrade pack. Halland has been outrageously great for Dortmund. And as you can see in the road to glory, yes, we packed him. You might have seen my pack cracks in the day. Thank you guys for the amazing support, by the way, in the videos. They've been doing so really awesome. I can't lie, they've been doing amazing. So you guys have blown me away. Thank you for the support. So, Halland. Can you get him in a bronze upgrade pack? Well, I'm going to tell you guys right now that you can. It is actually a fee for me. Now, the reasoning behind this is a bit odd. So, listen up, guys, right now. So, if you go into FIFA, find Haaland's first ever FIFA card. It's 73 rated. You can find his Dortmund silver card or his uh, Salzburg card nearly said Leipzig because they're owned by Red Bull aren't they both clubs so his version of any card even his team of the season card he will be packable in bronze upgrade packs because they give you a silver pack in return for completing the bronze upgrade SPC so as you can see that is the SPC completed there my road to glory for free and I will get a silver pack so you can actually get inform Halland right now in a bronze upgrade pack and I'm going to prove it to you because you guys are amazing you're also ridiculously crazy because I didn't think someone would have got this card already it turns out guys that in the space of about 24 hours one of you guys in the comments below has sent me this in the discord server unbelievable Jaden Sancho on the front and there's a bit of a Hint that maybe his uh, teammate might be in the pack. And there you have it. Inform Haaland. Packed in a bronze upgrade pack. 94 Messi has more in-game stats than 84 Orsic. Messi might be the greatest player of all time. However, there is a certain card in this game which has just been added. And also people are going crazy over. Because he looks nuts to use. His name is Orsic. So this is Messi's current price in game is probably about 980k in game for me if i can pack messi on the road to glory and then either sell him to get an unreal mega team or then buy neymar neymar's the guy i want to pack and this is my road to glory by the way very ha happy with how things are going really enjoying fifa right now so if you go to orsic's card this is the card i would highly recommend you getting him give him a dead eye chemistry style and you're looking at a card which has 99 finishing. I'm telling you, he is going to be amazing once I unlock him. I'm going to use him as a striker. So, the big question that I know you guys want to know is, is Orsic actually better? Is it a myth? Well, it is a FIFA myth. Orsic has more in-game stats than a card that's 10 ratings above him overall in rating. As you can see, 487 total stats there compared to 472. Orsic wins that one and then obviously Messi as well maybe not obviously actually has less in-game stats by quite a way that's 15 total stats there in game difference that's mad for Orsic can't pack 98 Pele plus Messi in the same FIFA pack say hello to one of the rarest packs you'll see in this game in Ultimate Team 98 Pele and Lionel Messi in the same pack as if Pele Otherwise known as Ed Tenorante Tenesimento. Always memorize that as a kid. Great name. I mean, as if Pele wasn't enough, is what I'm trying to say. To get messy in the same pack, guys, is ludicrously lucky. Jack Grealish is taller in career mode than in Ultimate Team. Some of the myths that come up in this series, guys, are so random and I love it. It's just, it's just different, isn't it? So, Jack Grealish has an inform there, which is a nice looking inform, but everyone got tired of getting him in the freaking Team of the Week SPC. Anyway, to the point, he's 5 foot 9 in Ultimate Team, which is probably the average height of maybe men in the UK. I don't know, I'm like 6 foot 2, so I can't relate. So, um, he's 5 foot 9 in Ultimate Team. Now, I know you're wondering, well, surely he is 5 foot 9 as well in all modes of FIFA. 
Well, if you go into career mode, guys, which is apparently on the Nottingham Forest career mode that we use on the last episode of FIFA Myths, well, it's true. Jack Grealish is taller in career mode than Ultimate Team. And that is two inches taller there at 5'11". And that is a bit weird. I don't know how that's happened, but EA might need to patch this one. You can't build a full special Spurs team. If you're a Spurs fan, it might have been a while since you've lifted a trophy. However, maybe this will cheer you up. So, a lot of you guys are doubting that Spurs can be a team to join the likes of Barcelona. I think, um, yeah, let's go Madrid, who beat us in the Champions League. Um, there are teams like Man City, Real Madrid even. Bayern Munich, that can all build teams with 11 different special cards. Can Spurs do it? Let's make this one fast for you guys. So Hugo Lloris there. Then the final player will be a guy who is absolutely brilliant. I, In my opinion, guys, he is probably world class. I'm going to be going with that UCL card, which is different to the Lloris. And it is possible. If you're an Arsenal fan, I'm sorry. It's a new FIFA myth. Can't have an eight foot tall footballer in FIFA 20. When you think of tall footballers or tall FIFA players, you think of Peter Crouch. And I think of Jay Spearing looking up at Peter Crouch and looking really angry at Crouch because he's so tall and he can't get the ball. But this is a FIFA myth. As you guys can see right there, there is a crazy glitch that you can currently do in Volta, which actually is technically the most played mode in FIFA, if you didn't know, because Everyone is forced to play at the beginning of FIFA when it launches and it takes ages to pack out the game. Anyway, neither here or there. As you guys can see, there is a player who is 256 centimeters tall. That equates to being eight foot three. Can I just say that again? Nearly eight foot four. He's eight foot three, guys. Give this man the ball in the box and he will not miss. He will be amazing in pro clubs. Gotta wish that was a thing in pro clubs. Fernando Llorente has had a minus one downgrade in every single FIFA since FIFA 13. The last time I mentioned a guy called Llorente was looking very annoyed in the car on the way back from the Atletico Madrid game from Anfield. I was very annoyed at that game in the passenger seat there. And last time I mentioned him before that was actually, well, when I played against him and beat him 2-1 with Chu Boy and Tony as the, uh, I don't know what Tony was doing, but still, we were all there and we beat Lorente. So it's one all Lorente. Come on the channel, bro. Let's have a game. Screw it. Let's do it. Anyway, shut up, guys. I know we lost to Let's Go Madrid. I know we lost. Finally, we found the Lorente who was lovely to Liverpool. I really have a lot of respect for this guy. Right, so there is Lorente. If you didn't know, this guy was a really clinical striker back in the day for Atletico Bilbao. He could score against any of the big teams. He was what well, he is, even six foot four, was great in the air, really good in the air, and was a clinical finisher. I liked this guy a lot back in the day. In fact, I did once want him to join Liverpool. I thought he could have been a good addition. Anyway, let's see. So FIFA 13 right now. Let's go to the generations tab. Wow, he was back in FIFA 10. What were stats like back in then? those days 88 physical it would have been a heading there i told you he was really good in the air right so in fifa 13 he had a juventus card remember that damn that was a uh, interesting card back then that still remains to me to me to be my favorite ever fifa card design in the comments below what is the best ever card design i loved doing videos back in the day like potential card designs are really good fun anyway 83 in fifa 13 82 in fifa 14 81 at juve there in uh, fifa 15 80 were uh, 80 actually for swansea and uh severe i believe is that severe i want to say that's severe it is severe um is that severe it is severe sorry got confused then he was 79 so yeah minus one every single fifa here guys until FIFA 17, minus one again at Spurs, minus one again at FIFA 19 at Spurs, and again at Napoli. He really has had a minus one downgrade every single FIFA. Will that trend continue, or will he be a silver player next FIFA? It remains to be seen. Can't pack Mbappe in a bronze pack. EA released an SBC that, to be fair to them, was pretty banterous. It wasn't the first time they've been banterous this year, is it, guys? Let's be real. And as you can see, April 1st was a very big day for EA as they did release a bronze guaranteed player SBC. However, as you can see, they did troll the entire community in the world on FIFA as special players 
could appear in these packs. So we had the likes of for birthday Mbappe, and then this subscriber packed a footballer who is also a very awesome legend and subscriber of this channel. His name is Saint Maximin. I love this guy. I think he's going to go on to do big things in football. Very, very talented footballer, by the way. And as you can see, what a player. I do wish that was like a cam card, personally, like a CF card, maybe. But still, Saint Maximin has been packed in this bronze player, SBC, just like Mbappe. You could pack gold players in FIFA 12 Ultimate Team bronze packs. We continue the trend of bronze packs right now in Ultimate Team. And look at this menu. What a great menu this was back in the day. And it seems to be true. As you guys can see, 78 rated gold player Abate was in a bronze pack. What a lovely card that was back when FIFA cards had formation like stats on them really really weird wasn't it and uh pretty necessary but still it is true no player has had a two-star skill moves upgrade in fifa 20 there is a certain player who has indeed had a two star skill move upgrade and you're probably wondering who it is well it's this guy lucas vera guys was originally in fifa 20 a two-star skiller now he's a four-star skiller so there it is it's a new myth within FIFA 20. No player has ever had six inform cards in one ultimate team. This is a brilliant myth and thank you guys for this comment. So if you go into Footbin or even an old FIFA, there are a few and there aren't many. There's about three, I believe. So first one, and the one I'm gonna show you today actually on this video is Pepe, and obviously not from Arsenal. It was not the best of seasons in my opinion. So let me know if you guys agree with that. But in FIFA 19, it was a very special year for Pepe. So that card was sensational. If you gave him a basic style, he was a 98 right winger or left winger. I mean, what a card that was. However, he did actually have six informs in the same game. So 81 inform, 84, 86. 87, 88, 89. So that is a myth and one of the rarest myths of the week for sure. That is an incredible set of cards that Pepe had. A secret Van Dyke card has been found in Ultimate Team. Yes, there has been a secret card found in FIFA 20 and that is Virgil Van Dyke. And my biggest surprise is that he hasn't actually got the best players in terms of each position. So obviously Robbo has now got team of the year card, as has Trent, as has Alisson, as is Messi. So I wouldn't be surprised if EA have sent Virgil, who is obviously probably the most viewed player in all of FIFA because he's on every single pack, it seems. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Virgil does improve his team. However, is there a pro player with a better team than Nazri? Yep. Nazri. EA's manager item secrets has been found. You guys dedication to these videos is unreal and I can't thank you enough because we can now find just really odd secrets that EA don't really ever release to us that is interesting. So if you go to the bronze manager section on the transfer market look out for the USA flag and then make sure the level is bronze there for quality. Simply search and you guys can see this guy called C Callaway. He might not actually be called Callaway because as you guys can see now in NHL Ultimate Team or Hockey Ultimate Team, he's also in that game with the name D Samuels. The exact same image right there in two different EA games. You can't have four duplicate players in one team on FIFA. When I go on my FIFA squad right now, guys, I try to add Let's say who's on the best place in the game. Let's go with Pele, right? And add in his concept card. And as you can see, we can only add one of his cards. And even if we try to add potentially another one, you won't be able to do it. As you can see, a variation of this player already exists. How about his other cards? Well, his 98 version as well will not work. However, for this guy, as you can see right now on your screen, he has four icon Roy Keynes in his squad. If someone can explain how he did this glitch, please let me know. It's absolutely crazy one. It's another massive FIFA myth. Ronaldo and Messi have never been below an 80 rating in FIFA. In FIFA Ultimate Team, I've been lucky enough to pack myself a Lionel Messi. And the fact that I pack this Messi in 
a pack about half an hour after I completed the 96 Player of the Month Messi SBC was just meant to be. I've packed Messi, I think, three times, twice in this FIFA, this card, and his regular base card. It is a very good feeling in Ultimate Team. As you can see, it went kind of wild on stream. Also, I've packed Ronaldo about five times overall. Never packed a Team of the Season or Team of the Year Ronaldo. I've only ever packed his base cards, I do believe. However, that was a crazy one back in FIFA 19 on the Road to Glory. Hopefully, you can get him again on this year's Road to Glory, which I'm playing even more than ever. So, it goes to show they are always one of the best highly rated cards in Ultimate Team, right? Always in the mid-90s. They are the best players ever, in my opinion. However, it's a myth, and surprisingly, back in FIFA 2004... That was Cristiano Ronaldo's rating, and yes, that was his player face. I mean, they didn't do the best job there, did they? Until probably, like, what? I mean, FIFA 09 was the first time Ronaldo actually looked like Ronaldo. Maybe FIFA 06 a bit, but still, more to the point, look at the rating. 77 for Ronaldo. Are you guys surprised by that? Let me know. I remember actually signing him for Liverpool, controversially, back in that FIFA also, Lionel Messi, as well, has been below 80 rating. That was FIFA 2005. Lionel Messi was probably the worst ever player face I've ever seen for a footballer right there. I mean, come on, that's crazy. 78 rating there for Leo Messi. And it goes to show, even the best ever players, in my opinion, have been below 80. So, it happens to the best of us, guys. It really does. Creativity. Interesting stat right there.